guys, welcome to Back to Basics from Jazz Tutorials. So we show you how to load and define patterns and brushes. Okay, so I have a canvas already opened here. Um, whatever size you want is fine, because we're gonna in, in the end you're gonna crop it anyway and make it a smaller size. So um, I went over here to the brush tool. I selected it, and uh, right now I'm gonna make a random uh, brush for you, just as an example. But by all means, if you want to make your own brush, you can do whatever you want as your design. This is just an example, just so you know. So I just selected random, random size brushes just for this example here. Um, so yeah, I don't even know what this is going to be. <laughs> just a random brush. So I'm going to crop it now, make it a square, just so it's easy -er to work with. Then I went up here to the word edit. And under the edit, it will give you a thing that says define brush preset. Click that, and a message will appear. And when it does, click OK, and it's going to automatically show up in your brushes um, palette thing. So an X out of that when you're finished, or you can save it if you wish. And then I'm going to go up here and select a random photo, and show you how to load your brushes now. And then I'll show you the brush that we just made in the preset. So yeah, okay, well, that's a good photo there. So now that that's opened, click on the brush again and go up here to your palette of your brushes. And on the right side, there is an arrow, a little arrow. Click on the arrow and it will open a new options page. Um, click on load brushes on that side. Um, everything else is basically nothing to be a part of right now. So click on load brushes and um, you'll see a whole list of brushes that you may have already stored in there if you don't want to store them. Um, if you don't know where your brushes are, um, it should show, you'll find out. It's in the Adobe Photoshop preset section. Um, click on your brush you want to open, um, and then click the word load, and it will automatically load it into your um, palette. See? They're all right there. And then you can click on them and use them on your photo or whatever you're using. Okay, and then back up in there, um, down here. Uh, where are they? Oh yeah, down here. Uh, the 58px brush, that's the one that we just made, remember? Yeah, we made that one there. So when you click on it, it will show up just as we made, just like that. Um, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Okay, now I'll show you how to define a pattern. So we're going to go up here and make a new canvas. Um, any size you want is fine. We're going to again crop it just so it's easier to work with eventually. So I'm just going to crop tiny little square once I'm done. Um, Alright, so there's a little square we have there. And you're going to select a brush of any size. And you can make your own patterns. Or if you have a picture you want to use for a pattern, this is also a good, t good you can do. You can open your um, a JPG, PNG, GIF file or whatever. And you can also do this technique as defining a pattern in the same way. I'm making my own pattern, but you don't have to. You can use the same technique as you would if you had a file already open. So um, once you have your pattern um, already made that you want to define, so when you have your pattern that you need to define already there or finished, go to edit and define pattern, and whatever you have on that screen will be the pattern that you will have in your preset. So that's the pattern I have, but if you have other patterns you want, you can use those too. So I'm going to again open a random photo just to show you the example of the, pa the, of the pattern that we just made, and how it will show up. So I opened this random photo here of the Jonas Brothers. All right, yeah, that's good. It's made a layer zero, just so it's click on it and click on pattern overlay. And over here in our drop down screen, you'll see our patterns right there, automatically put in there. Awesome, right? So when you click OK, you can see that. That's what it looks like right now. All right, so now um, I'm going to show you the load patterns. It's basically the same way as a brush, but just in the pattern overlay section. So I'm going to open a new file just so I can show you. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to make it a layer zero, and then double click on it, click on pattern or overlay again, and then as we have in the brush screen on the right side, oh, where the arrow is pointing, click on load patterns, and also in your presets, it'll give you a section for patterns. So click on the pattern you have in there. It's a PAT file, just to let you know. And then they'll show up right there. There you go. Uh, that's about it. That's all there is to it. Um, if you have any further questions or anything, leave a comment below or you can message me.
Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.